Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSplyShop.com. Uh, got a nymph pattern for you today, but the cool thing about this nymph pattern is, is we got the much anticipated fire hole slotted beads in at the shop today. So we got them in today and I come right home and sit down here in the studio and shot a video with them. The, these ones we're going to call, you know, it's the same thing. A lot of the colors are the same in the slotted as the other ones. Well, they're all the same, but um, the one we're going to use today is called Birthday Suit. Joe has a knack of coming up with names for things. It's Birthday Suit because it's raw tungsten. It's the raw color of tungsten. So uh, it's really cool. And the other thing that we're using in this is a fire, new fire hole hook. This is the 551. And if you are a Hannock guy and you like the Hannock 450, but you also are a big fire hole guy, here's uh, fire hole's answer to the 450. It's very, very similar to it. And um, if you like that nice big 2x two, two gap, which I do, I particularly really like it. And uh, so it's a great hook. It's a great looking hook. And it's one extra long and two, ex two extra gap. So give the 551s a try. They're a great hook. And of course, now the slotted beads. You're going to see it in the, in the video here. I'm going to point out how nice these beads match up to the hook, which is a big plus. Um, a lot of beads out there on the market have a big wide gap in the back of the bead, which when you put your hook in it, there's lots of play in between the hook and the bead. These are nice and tight, so that it doesn't have as much play. I really like that in a, in a bead. That's a big plus, so great job on that, Joe. Anyhow, this is a really cool pattern. Uh, my style of tying, which, you know, includes some flash, which is always the way I like to tie. So... Here it is, guys. This is the floss and flat. Yeah, I knew I was gonna mess that one up. The floss and flash. So it uses flex floss and uh, hollow flash, t hollow tinsel. So it's a really cool one. Check it out. You're gonna catch some fish on it, guys. Here it is. Here's a picture of the fly and the material that's to tie it. Alright guys, here you see the flying device. It's a very simple fly to tie. Let's get into tying it. Um, you know how I am. I like my flash. So there's a little bit of flash in this one. It makes it really cool looking. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our hook in the vise. For the hook, this is the new Firehole 551. Um, and it's a really cool looking jig hook. And it is in a size 14, I should say. The bead on this is a 3.0 millimeter, and this color is called Birthday Suit. It's raw tungsten is the color, and he calls it Birthday Suit because there's no additives or preservatives or whatever you want to call it in it. So, next thing I'm going to do is start out with some fluorescent chartreuse 70 denier thread. And I'm just going to tie it on there and cut my tag end off there and we're gonna work our way back towards the back and I'm gonna add a piece of this is a waiting bugger pack this color is green chartreuse we got them in a whole bunch of colors at the shop I like using it as cock daily on so cock daily on tying or tailing packs and they dye it to different colors so if you want to add a little bit of spice to your tails this is the way to go really cool looking so it's just your regular cock daily on feather dyed and we're just going to put it on top. Get them pinched down there where I like them. And we're going to tie them down. Now that's a little long so I want to shorten them up a tad. There we go. And then I'm going to tie this back to the bend of the hook. Alright, now I don't want it to roll down over the, over the bend so I'm going to stop right there. And work my way back up towards the bead. Now I'm going to wrap up here to the bead and I'm going to watch it a little bit. Try to be careful because with 70 denier you can cut your thread kind of kind of easily on the back side of the slot of the bead here. 
Now, one thing I will say about these beads, look at the gap there. I really like the minimal gap. These beads are really made for this size of hook. I'm really impressed with Firehole's new beads, so I would definitely suggest giving them a try. Next thing we're going to add on is a piece of Flex Floss. Uh, here's the Flex Floss. comes in different colors. This is the um, it's olive brown, and whoops, I'm just going to tie it on right in behind the bead. I'm going to get it tied down here. Right. And then once I get it trapped down, I'm just going to pull it real tight. So I want it to thin out as it goes down here. I don't want to add a lot of bulk to the body. And then I'm going to come back up. Now what I want to do, now that I got it tied down tight and stretched out, I can let go of the floss. But I want to come back here and I want to make sure I get this green color showing through to, in the butt section. So I just want nice tight wraps here and you know none of the uh, hook shank or whatever showing through on there. You see how I got it nice and green. Next thing is some um, medium chartreuse um, hollow was it hollow tinsel? So yeah, sorry. There we go. We're just gonna tie it down on top. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back about two thirds of the way and stop because I want a nice green tag tail on the end here, a nice green hot spot. So now we're just going to finish this by smoothing it out and giving a nice little taper. You see how I tapered it up nice towards the head there. Not too big, but a nice little one. And then wrap this forward. This is going to give you a nice flashy color. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of different colors. We sell this hollow tinsel in it. Play around, match up the threads to it. Play around, have some fun. Try this in different colors. So we'll trim that off, and then we're just going to take our flex floss, and I'm going to pull it tight again so it's smaller, and then I'm going to rib this, and it's going to give nice segmentation to it, and the floss and the thread will show through at the back, so really nice looking rib to fly, gives you a quill effect. There you can see that's that's nice right there. Actually, you could tie that off. I'd maybe hit it with a little bone dry if you tied it off like that. But the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little collar on this. And I'm talking little. And it's brown olive SLF dub. And I am just, in essence, changing the color of the thread here. Just matching it up. You see how it's pretty much the same size as the bead in diameter. And then I'm going to come in and whip finish a collar on here. Make a nice little hot spot collar with it. See, that was a very easy fly to tie. And it's really cool looking fly too. Lots of flash, which I like. And lots of color. So tie that one, have fun, and change your tinsel colors. Alright guys, I hope you like that. It's a cool little pattern. Um, I've been messing around with the flex, flex Floss a good bit here. And um, doing some different colored threads under it. And it almost gives you a quill body effect. You use a darker, you could use like a black or a darker colored Flex, flex Floss. Blah, blah. Having trouble saying that here today. Um, but it'll make you a nice quill effect on your flies. So give it a try. It's really cool and gives a great effect to the, to the pattern. Um, I've been messing around with these a little bit. It's, it makes a really nice olive pattern. If you would change this olive brown flex floss, do some olive colored thread underneath it, or it'll make a nice quilled olive. Like, you know, it, it's just really nice looking. Anyhow, off that subject. Uh, Nice job again by Joe on his fire hole hooks and the beads particularly, that nice tight gap. You saw it in the video, like I said earlier, you saw it there and how nice and tight the gap is. There's not much wiggle room, that's what we look for. And this is a great hook, it's very similar to ours that we carry, the whole Singer's Fly Shop jig hook, if you like using them. So, um, anyhow guys, 
keep tying, enjoy your tying, and mess around, change colors, experiment what works in your area, what doesn't. You know, there's a lot of things when it comes to fly tying that when I sit down at a vise, I look at it and say, I'm going to catch a fish on that. And, you know, I may have never fished it, but I know that I'm going to catch a fish on it just because of the setup of the fly, the proportions, you know, the different things that as you continue to fish, you learn what fish want and you learn how to incorporate that into your flies. And uh, having fun is all a part of the deal with fly tying. So don't get stuck in, I have to do it this way and I have to do this, and because that's what the original pattern was. Have fun and experiment with what you got, but keep the proportions, you know, keep to the naturals, whatever you need to do to keep it similar, but use what you have. Like I always preach in my videos, use what you have. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you need any of the materials, if you want to find those new hooks or the new beads, I have links directly to it here in the bottom in the description. Uh, you can hit a button, go right to the link, which will take you to the size 14 hook, per, per se, in this one. And uh, make it easy on you. Or you can go to our website and search it that way at wholesingersflyshop.com. So thanks for watching, guys. We have some exciting things coming up here in the near future with our videos and uh, I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, give me the thumbs up and come back next week when I bring you another video. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Sean Holsinger.